Welcome everyone to exercise number 14c in which I would like to show you how to add fields and use domains to improve your everyday work with geodatabases. In this project we will concentrate here on the city data geodatabase we have created in the last sessions. And this contains uh, of four features here, fire agents, parcels, water lines and water wolves. And um, in the last video I think I've already uh, showed you how to create new features. We will do that once more here for water lines. So just right click on water lines and go to the properties. Here you can, uh, uh, or here you can see a lot of information about your uh, geodatabase and also the f uh, actual fields in the attribute table. And just by using here this blank field and typing in um, something like a line type never use uh, any blanks or something like that um, and defining the field as in our case text and as a second attribute or as a second feature I would like to use the install underscore date which is not only text but is a date so uh, these are possible features here so you can see line type is text there are some you can define a defaulting value install date uh, you can also define a default value and the length of this feature of the of this information stored here is 50 in that case so there are different possibilities to choose um, the yeah the behavior of that attribute so we'll just uh, we have added them now and what we will do now we will use a domain to some kind coordinate or um, define the type of uh, the information given in the feature or attribute line type therefore just right click on the geodatabase go on properties and they have general information about uh, about this geodatabase and also here domains you can easily as using or as creating a new feature a new attribute just click on the domain name and say um water line type it is called in the book and the type of installed waterline waterline installed so um, well it is not long and taken it should be taxed uh, we have some coded values and what we will do is we will create new codes the code M stands for main code DL stands for domestic uh, domestic uh, lateral and code HL stands for hydrant lateral so these are now the um, possible attributes in that domain if you choose that so we will just click on OK and right click once again into the water lines to say that this field line type has a domain and the domain is water line type we will also create a default value called M or we will choose that this is the default value for the uh, line type so that's it for the moment this was chapter 14 C we'll concentrate in the next video on creating and editing features which is uh, very very important for your everyday work so stay with me and stay tuned thank you